Sega. My name is Kerry Ganoski, and I'm the CEO and founder of High Voltage Software. My name is Eric Knopfsinger, and I'm Chief Creative Officer at High Voltage Software. Really, the game started when Eric and I discussed a few years, two years back, actually uh, getting off the treadmill of doing licensed games and creating a high voltage owned intellectual property. We were sort of uh, bemusing the state of the Wii. Um, there, there was so much opportunity with the, with the hardware platform, uh, yet it seemed like so many of the products were just terrible. Uh, Sega's aside, of course, uh, but uh, you know there were just there were just a really a lot of very very bad games for the Wii, and there weren't any uh, first-person shooters to speak of. The ones that did come out, there's like 12 that have come out. The majority of those have been ports or very poor quality. So um, you know it just made a lot of sense to us to you know as we had the funding to do original uh, IP development. Uh, you know, go where there's opportunity, and there was a lot of opportunity on the Wii. We believed in the console, and we believed in uh, in the game we were trying to make, and uh, and then everything else just sort of became a, a healthy competition within the team and within ourselves to make the game better and better. It's a combination of features. I mean, the the technology team building and crafting the technology for the game, so it didn't look like a port. I think if you look at the quality of the product, it, it, it's clearly ahead of any of the competition. And you know, from a team perspective, you know, we tried to craft a, a team of individuals that would take the take the uh, concept that we gave them and really uh, uh, achieve a sense of ownership and move forward to make the best possible game. Our first step really was to uh, create a technical demo that proved out that the Wii was indeed capable of doing many of the things that we saw on other uh, hardware consoles, but uh, like normal mapping, environment mapping, material-based effects, that sort of thing that you know is are fairly commonplace on 360, but unheard of on the Wii. And what we found is everything we challenged our advanced technology group with, um, they exceeded our expectations. And so we had this phenomenal technical demo and then uh, we knew uh, what, roughly what kind of game we wanted to make. We started working on that. Uh, almost immediately we started getting in uh, feedback from, from media. Uh, we, we reached out to uh, uh, community and to, uh, to media sources. And we got a lot of great feedback. And uh, we actively look at the message boards and blogs and, say, and, and, and when folks say things, we take it to heart. And we've, uh, we've applied that throughout the entire development of the product. Um, uh, when folks say, you know, oh, that texture, that looks a little blurry. That, that could be better. Uh, well, then we, we come up with a new technique that allows us to have crisper uh, graphics. Uh, we incorporated detail mapping that allowed us to have very, very crisp, te uh, detailed textures even when you go right up onto a wall. There's been a tremendous amount of feedback from uh, uh, the fan base. And we, we try to not only read every piece of feedback, but you know, there's, there's a lot of great ideas and thoughts from the community and, and the team, Eric and I read them, the team reads them, and we try to incorporate uh, items into the game. So it's just as much a labor of love for us as it has been for the fans. Our only regret in any of this is not reaching out to Europe sooner. <clears throat> um, we had a small outreach at Leipzig and uh, it, uh, it, it, it was okay, but, but it was no nowhere near on the level that we had in the United States. And that's something that we plan on learning from for, the, for, for future games. We're doing fun, and, and to be honest, it's, it's a good pressure. Uh, we see, you know, the message boards explode, and, and or, or uh, IGN or different sites will say how great the the conduit's going to be. Well, and and then on the development team, we uh, we have a lot to live up to. You know, we look at that and we say, oh, maybe maybe we need to take a harder look at what we're what we're doing and really 
even uh, do that much more. So throughout the entire development, it's been very iterative and allowed for us to do, uh, you know, uh, continually raise the bar of what, what was our standard for the best possible uh, weekend. And given that this is our first original IP, uh, quality was the mantra that Eric and I established for the team. It was quality, quality, quality. And if it didn't meet a bar, we didn't want to put it in the game. And there's certain features that, you know, just didn't make it in this version. And yeah. that, that, that's great for a free, uh, version two. Yeah. You know? There were a lot of things in, in this game that we wanted to do. We haven't had prototyped, but it just felt like it would have been a cop out to the fans. Uh, it would have been too forced to try to, um, and to try to force this uh, uh, different, different feature sets in, like uh, uh, Wii Motion Plus was one that we really wanted to support the device, and it's a great little device, but it turned out that it really didn't do much for our ranged combat. Um, we even tried prototyping some melee-based weapons, and um, they showed a lot of promise, but we didn't want to uh, do something that wasn't the highest possible quality, and we didn't have enough time left in development to do it to, this, to our own standards. Gamers, gamers around the world, they, they know quality. They, yeah. know, they know when something's been worked on versus, you know, kludged in right at the last minute. Someone tries to squeeze a feature in just because it's a bullet point. Yeah. I mean, we really wanted to focus on, is this right for the experience? Is it right for the game? And then we put it in.